So hello everyone, my name is Zach Hare. And for the past year, I have worked as a quality assurance intern for Northrop Grumman. And the project I'll be presenting today concerns how Northrop Grumman estimates their costs for inspections and how they use these for budgeting and staffing purposes. So a quick overview of the project. Like I mentioned, the company here is Northrop Grumman. They're a defense contractor working on land, air, naval, and cyber. And the problem in short is that they're unsure of the exact costs of various project phases, in this case inspections. And this is creating uncertainty when generating proposals for new projects, uh, as well as for their staffing assignments. So the solution then is to create a system to provide more discrete and more accurate cost estimations. So the objectives for this project. First of all, I wanted to create a single location for managers to find the inspection costs. I didn't want each manager to have to go to a different place for a different project, just one location for everything. I also wanted to make sure that the data was displayed in a manner that was easily readable and interpretable by managers. Uh, they shouldn't need a financial analyst to explain anything to them, it should be clear. And finally, I wanted to make sure that data entry was streamlined so that once data was updated, all the costs would automatically recalculate that way, once I do this, nobody else has to go through the legwork of doing this in the future. The AIM subfields that were incorporated into this project. Uh, first, we have business and financial analytics. Uh, since the goal of this project was to help Northrop Grumman with their business and financial analytics, specifically finding those, those costs for bidding purposes, I thought that fit really nicely. Uh, second is data engineering. Um, since data engineering could be defined as working with data for the goal of solving a practical problem, uh, that was also a real focal point of this project. And finally, uh, programming languages and methodologies. Um, this started out as a very SQL-based project. It kind of moved away from that, which I'll get to, but started out with a lot of SQL. And uh, I also had to write some Visual Basic um, or VBA for Excel macros. Um, and I had to do a little bit of learning on that front. Moving on to the solutions here, uh, I'll start by talking about how I kind of solved the, the data sourcing issue. And in a sentence, the way I solved it was using Excel flat files. So I'll explain how I got there. Northrop Grumman uses three different sources for their data. You can see this in the model on the right there. So the first source is SAP. It's a pretty well-known ERP system, can really manage the entire business process at a high level, which is good. They also use one ERP, which is at this point, a, a pretty old legacy ERP system um, Northrop Grumman still uses it for a lot of time tracking, um, but it's uh, not, not all the data is there necessarily. And they also use MES, which is Manufacturing Execution System. Uh, it's another type of ERP that is very specifically for manufacturing. So while a system like SAP would have a manufacturing section, it wouldn't go to the same detail as MES. So if we have all these ERPs, well, why did I not just use those, right? Why did I not just use SQL? I wanted to, but unfortunately what I quickly found was that data was, there, <laughs> there was a number of problems, frankly. First of all, data was all over the place. Um, there was some overlap between the three systems um, and, and some duplicate data, which was an issue because there's also unique data. So I wasn't really sure where to go to get the proper data set. Um, there's also a transition in only some departments from one ERP to MES. So there was a certain point in roughly February of last year where all the data just got cut off and moved to MES. So that also added a challenge. Then on top of all that, getting permission to just view the data was difficult enough. Northrop Grumman, like any good company, has its own internal security measures. But as a defense contractor, it also has, uh, it has to be secure enough for the US government to be happy with it. So this means in a lot of cases, you need federal security clearances to view data. So in terms of some challenges, uh, I've already touched on the first two uh, in, in some detail. The, the source data was just really difficult to get access to. Just trying to find the data was, was a project in and of itself. Um, and then going through the bureaucracy of Northrop Grumman, which I understood why it's there being a defense company. The security is obviously important, but it did really slow me down. And it, it's, it can be very frustrating when you put in a request and then it can take days or even a week just to get access to view something and then find out it's not actually what you were looking for. So that was definitely a challenge. Uh, a challenge I haven't touched on too much yet is that we actually had a really uncertain endpoint. Uh, initially discussing with, with my manager back in January, early February, we, we understood what the problem was, but we didn't really understand, like even if we had the data to solve it, where that data was, what this was gonna end up looking like, 
you're talking about like integrating this with uh, with the corporate websites uh, or the the uh, intranet, and uh, it, it was a little bit difficult to work towards an end goal without really understanding what the steps along the way were. Uh, another issue I had was I was a, I was a team of one, and I did have my manager and a financial analyst who were there to support me, but it was on me to reach out if I needed any help. There was nobody else at Northrop Grumman working on the same project as me, so it was totally on me to manage the work and get the resources I needed. 